Hello everyone. I'm Trish from Dean Michael Designs. And as I promised, we are going to learn this new petal and how to make this wreath that's not finished, but we will finish it. But I'm going to start by telling you what you're going to need as far as supplies. Um, you will obviously need your poly burlap, which I do not have another orange one, but I will show you the package of another color of a green. So this is the poly burlap. I will also tell you that I have done this petal using mesh, and I will show you a picture of that reef as well. So you can do it using mesh. It comes out better with the poly burlap, um, but the mesh is pretty as well. So you need your poly burlap, 10 inch. I use a 10 inch frame. Um, you will need some of this stuff here, this plastic, I don't even know what this is called, plastic canvas. We're just gonna cut, I just cut um, the size of the center of the work frame. We're gonna cut that out. You're gonna need pipe cleaners. I cut mine in half. That's how I use them, in half. We'll need some zip ties just to secure this uh, plastic canvas to the reform. Wire cutters, scissors, and pretty much that's it. So it's not a lot of supplies, and you only need one roll of poly burlap and you will even have some left over. And then depending on which type of center you wanna do, I'm gonna show you these really cool new ones that I found that are ready to go. I did get this from Trendy Tree. And you just basically attach like a, a pipe cleaner at, with a floral pin or some glue, whatever, and right on it goes. So I'll show you that at the end. There's also other options as well. Something like that. All kinds of stuff. I've done them many different ways, and um, you'll see pictures of mine at um, the beginning of this video and possibly at the end. Okay, so we're just gonna get started with, before you start, I would suggest cutting these out and attaching them to your work form. One, you only need one. So what I do is I just flip this over and then use, can you see, a few zip ties to secure it. I want to adjust this camera just a bit. There we go. Don't mind my terrible non-manicure. I'm a gardener and they never stay when I get them done. So, I just keep them clean. So what I do with this is I just secure it a few times with zip ties. Again, this is best to do before you start with your petal. Usually do about four. I'm sorry it took me so long to make this video. I've been promising people for a few weeks and life just kind of takes you by the hand sometime and you don't get to do what you want. And then just clip these, easy. And then we'll be ready to start. So what I do for this particular reef, and I have done a couple of different versions, but what I found works best 
is to use the second from the outer circle, whatever you call this, and then the, the innermost for where I'm gonna place my petals. If you want to add green, I usually do not add green, but um, it does look good with green. You could add them to the outer, however many you want. So that's how you would do that. Same method, you would just use the green. I like all one color for these, I don't know why, just personal preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the fold. You're gonna be surprised at how simple it is. I'm gonna put that aside. Now, hopefully this is working because this is the first, well, actually my second video. And hopefully I'll get better because I do have something else in the works. So what you do is you get your, I already cut all of my poly burlap, 10 by 10. I did use a wood burner, so it cuts down on the fraying. All you do, lie it flat, make it into a triangle, just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then what I do is put it to the side and just crunch it up like that. And you can see your petal forming. Push those pieces to the back. That is it. Look at that. Easy breezy. And then I put the pipe cleaner, Chanel stem, whatever you want to call it, on here. And now I'm going to show you how, I'll show you the petal again, because then I'm going to pause this and come back to show, because you don't have to watch me put every single petal on. But how I attach them so that they don't move. So I said we would start second ring from the outer is how I do it. If you're doing green, you'd start here. If you want to put a layer of green. I'm not doing green. I'm just going to go on my second. What I do is I give it a twist and then I attach one piece of the stem. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but we could always do a live for like questions, but I just wasn't up for a live for this first one. And then I put the other end of the Chanel stem. I hope you could see this on the ring that the petals attached to, and then they don't go anywhere. See that? That's how you do it. And then I like them all to go the same way. So I'll overlap here. You don't have to overlap. You can make this look however you want. You can make your petal a little fatter, a little thinner for a, a totally different look. I've done a few reefs and they've come out a little bit different because of the size of the petal and how many I put on the rim. I would tell you as a good estimate, you're probably going to need between 18 and 20 for the second ring in. And about, I'd say 15 for your middle. So that's it. So you're going to get away with less than a full roll of burlap. Unless you do the leaves, then you're going to need more for the outer. And depending on how you do them, you could do them all the way around. You could do them in clusters on top and bottom, whatever. Be creative. So let's do the fold one more time. It's so easy. Lay this down. Triangle. There it goes. And then I turn it to the side and I scrunch it up like that. Take a look at it. Get those pieces in the back. Just scrunch them up. And there's your petal. Put your pipe cleaner on. I love this orange for fall. I hope we can get more of it for the fall with a black center. Mm. Perfect. 
And then I would go right next to this and I would put about four in each little section. And again, I wanna show you how I tie them on because I get them where they, they don't move. I give it one or two twists. Then I take one end of the pipe cleaner and I flip it over that top. And then the other end, I hope you can see that, I go around. And sometimes they even overlap and that's fine. Fold it over and then you just fix them so they lay the way you want. And we continue from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this, finish up, and come back. Okay, I am back. And I got this one tidied up and I put the canvas, I don't know what this thing is, this canvas netting, whatever, in the middle of this one. And now I'm gonna show you how I add the petals to the innermost ring to form the flower. So we'll do the fold again. Same thing. I'm gonna get a better angle this time. I'm trying. If you would see this weird setup I have going on here. Okay, so again, we're just gonna lie the poly burlap flat, make a triangle. You see that? Yep, make a triangle. I turn it to the side and then I just give it a little scrunch up. And I look at it, it kind of looks like one of those little goldfish kids eat. And then I bring the ends to the back to create my petal. See that? And then we're going to add a Chanel stem. Same thing. There we go. There you go. Now, we're going to add these, the second row, to your innermost ring. Okay? And what I like to do is I do like to catch a piece of the plastic, whatever that is, plastic canvas, whatever. You get this in the needlepoint section of um, like Walmart or anywhere. I need to figure out what it's called. But anyway, you um, what I try and do is kind of go in between so that that will lay like that. But what I do, I hope you guys can see this, is I kind of catch one little hole of this grid, this plastic grid, flip it over, get the other side around the ring, pull it tight and be, because we're catching that grid the petal is not going to move so they're going to stay nice wherever you put them okay so what we're going to wind up doing is putting approximately I'd say three in each section but it 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 depends on how you want it to look so and the other reason that I put this grid is because when we do attach our center, I like to put it through, like put a pipe cleaner or even a zip tie if I use this other one that I showed you before. Like if I put a zip tie on here, then I could pull it through so that it stays, okay? Well, let's do one more petal. And we will pause so I could finish. I'm sure you do not want to see this whole process. So here we go. We're going to go a triangle, just like that. Easy. Turn it to the side. Give it a little scrunch. I like to even it out. You could even give it a little tug if you want a nice point. You'll, once you start playing with it, you'll be able to get the exact shape that you want. I tend to make mine thinner 
I don't know why when I'm making them. I like how they look. But you can do them any way you want. It'll be fun to see everyone's creations. There you go. There. And now what I'll do is, oops, I'll put this uh, probably about there. So it just kind of overlaps just a little bit. We don't want them too crowded. And it takes away from the beauty of it. Let's see if I can hold this up, you can see it. So what I do is I kind of grab one of the little squares on that plastic grid. Like that. Turn it over, give it a good tug. Now these I don't have to do any fancy anything with. At the end I'll probably just put them like that, but this is going to be covered. I usually cover with felt or something in the back, but I don't have to attach that anywhere else because it's not going to move because it's attached to the grid. There you go. So again, oops, there you go. <laughs> again, I'm going to finish this um, inner ring quickly and then I'm going to come back and we'll see what it looks like with a center in it. I'm going to show you how I would attach this guy. I'm not going to show you the glue part, but I think that would look really, really cool on this. And it's already made ready to go. Okay, be right back. Okay, I am back and I finished the middle. Just went around the middle section. It's getting harder now to show you the whole thing because I don't have anyone helping me, so I have everything so close that it's kind of hard to get the whole thing in. But um, now I just wanted to show you real quickly like a couple ideas for the center, which you could do anything. But I, like I was showing you this guy earlier, I think this would something like this would look really nice in the center, like that. I can't put this in permanently. This is already promised to someone, a sunflower I'm making. And then there are these pre-made from Trendy Tree. Now, obviously, when I do this for permanent, I am gonna use glue and a floral pen. Let me give you an idea. Oops, sorry. So, what I would do is glue it and floral pin it in like that. Um, and then let that dry so that it will be secure, but I'm gonna just show you why I, another use for that grid is so that you can put these Chanel stems right through the grid. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let's see, I think we're in. Right through the grid, like that. You see how I'm pulling these through? And then you would, obviously I don't want to pull too hard because I don't have anything glued permanent, but you get the idea of how I would use that and how that would look. Okay, so that's it for our tutorial. Hopefully you can get a good View. Sorry that I don't have someone helping me to get better angles here, but this was the best I could do. Um, again, I'm Trish from Dean Michael Designs is my Facebook page, and I have a few more things in the works that I would love to share. Uh, but I, I really hope you enjoyed this one, and have a wonderful night.